Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is your weekend reading for May 6th through 8th, 2022. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. As always, I'm truly, truly grateful for each and every one of you. Happy Mother's Day to mothers of all kinds out there. Mother's Day is this Sunday, at least in North America. I think other places in the world, maybe it's a different date. However, happy Mother's Day to mothers of all kinds. Um regular moms, <laughs> if there is such a thing, dad moms, Mr. Moms, uh, pet moms, all right, mothers of all kinds, happy Mother's Day to you. So let's have a look and see what we've got coming out for you guys this weekend. So first out, we have the thinking man. Well, hello, if you are a single mom and you are looking for love, maybe you're going to meet somebody this weekend. All right. Or maybe someone can give you a little bit of advice. The thinking man is actually a wonderful energy. This represents typically a male figure or somebody who is, uh, has very much in tune with their masculine energy. Okay. But the thinking man is somebody who is intelligent. Perhaps there's someone who gives you advice. It can be a potential romantic interest. This person is very smart, likes to converse about all sorts of things. They're a little bit of a deep thinker. They're a planner. Okay. Um, but typically in the upright anyway, very honest person. So this could certainly be that romantic interest, but it could also be a friend. It can be someone who's advising you on something. Uh, so, but this person is here to help you in some way. And especially if you are making any kind of plans or anything like that, okay, maybe this person can help you uh, put some pieces together um, in your world in the weekend ahead. So very interesting energy coming in there. So hopefully you've got someone that can give you a bit of a helping hand. We also have happy family and isn't this nice? Your family wants to celebrate with you this weekend, okay? Whether you are a mom or not, okay, the happy family energy here is all about spending time with our soul tribe, with the people in our lives that really matter to us. Perhaps you have some get together that you're planning, <laughs> thinking man. Um, perhaps you are uh, just spending some extra time with your loved ones this weekend, but this is a very wonderful, very happy, very joyous energy that's coming out here with the happy family. Now, happy family, family, everyone's definition of family is a little bit different, right? We've got our blood relatives, we've got, uh, you know, we've got inherited family sometimes, stepsisters, brothers, husband, wives, all those things. Um, but we also have our chosen family, all right, our friends, our loved ones, those who we consider near and dear to our heart, all right, but uh, it's certainly one of togetherness, happiness, joy, and enjoying and loving the people that you're with. Let's see what other energies we've got for you guys. We've got the Queen of Wands coming there. We have the Hanged Man. Now that may be where the Thinking Man helps you out. And we have the Sun. Look at that beautiful energy coming in there for you guys. This weekend, the Queen of Wands is particularly wonderful. The bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles. Well, hello. Maybe your thinking man is also an affluent man. All right. The King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck could certainly just represent uh, an energy of success and prosperity, especially in your material world. Um, this can represent you taking the lead, taking charge on something with that masculine energy. Okay. But it is one of you <laughs> Uh, uh, safety, security, okay, uh, prosperity, abundance, all of those things, feeling successful, especially in your physical world. This could possibly be a leveling up energy, or perhaps this is a uh, male or um, male person or someone who is in touch with their masculine energy uh, that has some sort of influence on you in some way in the weekend ahead, okay, and this positive influence, because that's in the upright, okay, so maybe someone that gives you some financial financial advice. Perhaps there's a gift coming your way. All right. Um, maybe there's some new opportunities, some new doors opening for you. Okay. Whatever that is for you. But this King of Pentacles is typically someone who's really good with money. Typically somebody who is very successful in their own right, whether it's actually money or just very prosperous as a whole. Okay. But this is somebody who, you know, may be able to help you. Okay. Or maybe, uh, 
uh, has those doors opening for you. We've got the Queen of Wands coming in here, and this is excellent energy. As the energy of you, this is really about living your best life. The Queen of Wands is, you know, really an energy where you're feeling good, you're feeling inspired. Perhaps you're going to do some things on your own in the weekend ahead here with that Queen of Wands, very independent energy. All right. Um, but you might just be feeling motivated, okay? But this does bring in that energy of success, like kind of I'm a little bit of a queen of the world, right? That, uh, that feminine energy here of, you know, really kind of uh, enjoying where you're at. Now, the Queen of Wands doesn't necessarily have to be an aspect of you. It can also be a person in your world as well. Perhaps that represents your uh, your mother or your significant other, someone with Mother's Day there. Perhaps you need to spend a little bit of money with that King of Pentacles. Just spread some wealth around a little bit. But of course, it's not always about money, is it? Right? But could be just an offer or something to somebody out there, a little bit of a gift. But the Queen of Wands is also coming across, comes across as a best friend kind of energy. This is somebody who is reliable, dependable, maybe someone who helps you out in some way, someone who inspires you, um, maybe helps you see a different viewpoint, okay? Or maybe this someone just gives you a little bit of motivation. Can also just be someone who is very honest and who you enjoy spending time with, right? The hanged man coming in here right in the middle is, you know, really about patience, okay? The hanged man is also about sacrifice, letting things go, all right? But it's also about taking a step back looking at the big picture, okay, seeing where you're at, where you want to be, where you want to go, what changes do I have to make, okay? It could really just be a deep thinking energy here as well, all right? And so maybe with that thinking man energy, this can also represent elements of you, all right, thinking about something, um, that may be very important. Perhaps there's an offer or an opportunity that's opening up for you, that King of Pentacles. Perhaps there's a large purchase that you're looking to make and you do need to take your time or you're waiting for something here, right? This Queen of Wands could be something that you're very excited about and the Hanged Man, you just need to kind of uh, cool your heels a little bit while you wait for some sort of answer. Um, I am getting an energy that someone's maybe buying a house or signing a lease or something like that, uh, something to do with like your family life there. It could even be a car. Um, but with that King of Pentacles, the happy family that's there. Uh, and then we have the sun coming in there as well. Uh, I'm kind of getting more of like a housing situation for someone. Okay. So maybe you put an offer in on a house, that King of Pentacles energy, you need to ask someone for help, or you're really mulling things over. You found something that you really like. Okay. Something that you're passionate about there with that Queen of Wands. And then it's a little bit of a waiting game. So either you're taking a step back, looking at the big picture, making sure that you're making the right decision. Okay. Um, or you are putting in some offer and uh, you have to sit the, sit back and wait a little bit, okay, for some answers to come in. But um, <clears throat> but it looks like if that's the case there, since we have the sun coming out, it looks like that's probably hmm, looking pretty good for you. All right. But the hanged man is also about just being open and enjoying your moment, enjoying your weekend, having fun, um, you know, just kind of going where the wind blows you, right? It's not one of necessarily... Um, great effort or exertion. Okay, it's kind of like, oh, I'm just blowing on the uh, blowing on the breeze. I'm just gonna do whatever floats my boat this weekend. All right, but you may actually also need to keep an open mind with that hanged man because that's where we kind of have a look at other people's um, uh, ideas, other people's perspectives on things can help us kind of be a little bit enlightened. But you may be getting some answers that you're looking for with that hanged man energy as well. When we do take a step back, we release expectations. Uh, we quite often are a little bit open to different alternatives or, you know, even that big picture, right? So we may get some answers this weekend, some clarity. We've got the sun card coming out here as well. Beautiful, beautiful energy. The sun shines a wonderful, beautiful, positive light on your entire reading, on your entire weekend. Okay. It can simply be some really good news coming in. It can be that sun card spending time in the uh, in with the family that you love, the people that you love. Okay, it is an energy of 
positivity, of abundance, happiness, joy, the happiest energy in the entire deck. And of course, we do have that happy family coming out here as well. You may be receiving some good news. It is an energy of success and abundance there as well. It represents those family, children, all of those things. So whether you're just really, really uh, enjoying your weekend and, you know, really just enjoying the moment, living each day to its fullest this weekend, having some fun. Or you may just be keeping a very positive, open mind on your entire weekend. It's beautiful energy, um, filling you with happiness, with joy, even giving you the energy boost that you might need to get something done. Right? You might be, you might have some really great ideas, a burst of creativity or inspiration here. Possibly something in your home. Maybe you've got some redecorating you want to do, some home improvements. The hanged man. You need to recharge your batteries a little bit, and then you're pouring some more energy in it, and you're really happy with the results. Your advice from spirit here is the five of swords. Now, the five of swords can certainly represent some conflict, some confusion, some uncertainty. Okay, that can be some muddled thoughts in there. So spirit says here that, you know, there may be something there that you're confused about, something that you need some clarity for. Okay, and, you know, maybe even there's some competition, some negotiation that may uh, be required somewhere on the weekend. And spirit says here that if you aren't clear on, you know what it is that you're doing okay then you may have some person around you that can give you some advice or support we do have that thinking man there coming out we've got the queen of wands and we also have the king of pentacles so there may be something within your family unit okay or maybe some business professional that can help you out along the way sort out some uh, some issues sort sort out some confusion give you a little bit of clarity there's that hanged man energy coming in there as well the five of swords that is, as advice from spirit also you know says that you may end up having you may at some point have a voice inside your head that gives you some negative talk you know how sometimes we have the devil on one shoulder and the angel on the other right that good old uh, cartoon caricature right and you know the angel is like yes you can giving you love guidance encouragement support and then you got that devil on the shoulder that little back talk uh, in the back of your head going no you're not going to do it no you're going to fail no this person going to betray you all of these things so spirit says, you know, beware of that little voice inside your head that says you can't do something or is giving you that negative, um, that negative talk there. We need to try and quell that energy. We need to release that with that hanged man and let that go because really this is a weekend here for you to shift your perspective and to look on the bright side of things. Okay. And when we do that, uh, then, you know, things just work out for the better wherever we put our attention. That's where our energy go goes. And that is what grows, right? So, you know, when we focus on the positive and powering through and overcoming things, then we are certainly um, on a better pathway than that negativity. But Watch your communication this weekend uh, in all respects. The Five of Swords can represent misunderstandings. It can represent those, uh, you know, how sometimes you start out with somebody in like a healthy debate, okay, and then it quickly turns a little bit ugly. Uh, someone's always got to get that last little dig in there somewhere. So you may have a situation unfolding in the weekend ahead where you need to take the high road, okay, and just maybe sidestep a situation or at least just be very cautious in how you you communicate something out there right especially it could be like a little family squabble there probably fairly minor considering the rest of the cards that we've got coming out but just a little bit of a heads up from spirit blessings headed your way well hello the ace of pentacles that's nice okay so there could certainly be something new in your environment this weekend of course if you are uh if you are uh, a mother of some variety then perhaps this ace of pentacles does represent a little bit of a gift coming your way something that is really uh, something that it gives you a bit of joy and happiness, something that puts a smile on your face. But the Eight of Pentacles can be um, something new or something improved in your material world. It can represent something, uh, some improvements in your finances. It can be something in your home. All right. And again, remember I said a little bit earlier, perhaps a purchase of some sort this weekend. And, uh, you know, you may, uh, you may, of course, be doing that. Some of you may also have a little bit of improvements coming in in regards to your finances as well, uh, especially with that Pentacles energy coming in here. You may actually even just start with an idea 
with that uh, Ace of Pentacles and then you're getting some advice and some guidance all around your way and you've got a really positive outlook that your idea is something that you can really go with, something that can really um, uh, come to fruition for you, right? We start off small and we have the potential here with that King of Pentacles to end up big, all right? So whether it's, it may be an investment opportunity or something, so that Ace of Pentacles also brings about a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck in some area in your material world. So you got to like that a little bit. All right, your overall outcome for the weekend, we have the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a wonderful energy of growth, expansion, keeping an open mind. All right, moving forward. Threes are about creation, but they're also about things coming to fruition. So you may have something uh, that you want, that you're right there, you're right on the cusp, and you're ready to move forward with it. You're ready to take some action. Your blocks are removed, all right, and you're just uh, maybe playing a little bit of a waiting game, but you are ready to take action. You're ready to take the next step and move forward. This can be in regards to a relationship, right? That Ace of Pentacles, that King of Pentacles, the family card, okay, all of these things you may have some sort of an offer of a higher level of commitment coming in here okay uh, and you're taking something to the next level that three of wands is you are ready to take something to the next level the next step the next stage all right and it is a wonderful energy of uh being excited but it's one of action Okay, and you know, whether you're actually taking that action or you're just ready and you're right on the cusp, you're just waiting for that little phone call. All right, but things are starting to come together for you with that three of wands. Um, it is also one of travel, so perhaps some of you have some travel plans or a travel opportunity, um, perhaps an invitation. The ace of pentacles can be an invitation, and it's certainly a blessing headed your way. All right, and you know, maybe you're making some travel plans, maybe someone uh, like a, a family reunion or a get together, a celebration of some sort. All right, but that Three of Wands is a wonderful open energy where you've got a plan, you got a game plan, and you are moving onwards and upwards. So you gotta like that. So let's grab a couple of last messages for you guys here, and I'm gonna close out your reading here with a couple of Angel Wishes cards. Something because this beautiful, wonderful energy coming in for you guys this weekend. Maybe with a little bit of a, a little bit of a sidestep there with that five of swords. All right, but let's just see the last messages here for you. Thank you very much. So first out, we have go into nature and clear any negative thoughts or energies you may have. Hello, five of swords, but it can also represent that sun. All right, but also that hanged man taking that time out. Perhaps you're going to take a little bit of time out for yourself. Your next card here, we have if in doubt, ask for inspiration from above. Beautiful. And last but not least, your animals in spirit are showering you with your their love. Oh, that's beautiful. That is a message for you pet moms out there, okay, or dads, all right, and you can be Mr. Moms to your pets as well, all right, that if you've had any, um, any uh, animals, any beautiful loved pets that have passed on, they're watching over you um, at all times. So anyways, I'm going to leave that there for you guys. I hope there was something here that resonated with you. If there was, please don't forget to hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And once again, happy Mother's Day. Um, I will see you guys later. Bye.